Let's do a little pollen test and see if spring's getting close. Yeah, I'd say spring's here. There's some pollen. Alright, basic maintenance on a man-made holding pond and drainage system. I want to take all the organics out of here so stuff stops growing in it. It'll plug it out. I want to leave all the water spiders so they eat the mosquitoes so don't put any chemicals in it. Just get the organics out. And then on the ditch that feeds your leak ponds. You're going to want to grade the sides of it so it makes a, a really nice channel everything falls straight down the middle narrow as possible keep the water moving fast that puts oxygen in it that eliminates a lot of future problems with the wrong kind of bacteria and bugs all right we take all these puddles out of this thing all the way up and that's going to greatly reduce the mosquito population around this neighborhood the less mosquitoes are biting people, less people are going to get sick and potentially die from stuff like West Nile or any of these things that seem to happen every once in a while. Just good practice. There's certain kind of fish you can put in these kind of ponds and things to reduce the mosquito population as well. And if you do have real severe algae problems, you know, there's no need for chemicals, just a sock full of uh, barley will usually clear that up without hurting fish or other stuff that that you might also think is important. Now, there's my tips on maintenance on a, a man-made drainage and collection system.
right up to the bridge. And the other side of the bridge. Still got to remedy this big mess right there. I think someone's getting ready to move into that birdhouse I put way up there. That'd be cool. Quitting time. <laughs> 